Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your tarot card of the day for July 22nd, 2019. Um, you've got three cards. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. This is the tarot card of the day. This is not a personal reading. This is for all zodiac signs. This may or may not resonate. So please be sure to, yeah, pay attention. Okay, so this is what we got going on. All right, somebody is trying to figure it out. Okay, so some of you have relationships. Okay, this is my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but this is my opinion. I feel like when a man meets a woman, he knows what he wants to do with her. I feel like within the first day or two, he knows exactly what his intentions are with her. I feel like this, of course, not everybody is the same, but I feel like a man has his intention. Is this going to be a booty call? Is this going to be potentially my girlfriend unless something comes up to where she can't be my girlfriend or I don't like her? Is this woman going to be my wife? You know, what is this going to be? I feel like for women, it's kind of the same way, but sometimes, you know, the guy doesn't fall, fall in line with that. But what the energy I get is a lot of you are going to be meeting men today and they're going to be telling you things that maybe, and this could be a man on a man. This could even be a woman to a man telling a man, Hey, listen, I think we should get married. Do you believe in love at first sight? So this could easily be that way, but I'm picking up stronger male energy towards female, but it could easily be, you know, a woman to a woman, a man to a man you know, a woman to a man or a man to a woman. But the energy I get today, it's sort of like love at first sight. It's like I, you know, there's just something special about you. I don't know what it is, but I think you're magical. Or it's like, I don't know, there's just something about you, endearing about you. You know, maybe somebody's able to see a part of you that maybe nobody else sees. You know, maybe people look at you like, oh, your life is just so perfect and so great. But maybe there's certain people around that see the truth, that see that you do have struggles or you do work very hard or, you know, you aren't this mega brat or, or rotten dude or rotten girl that you, you know, your life is not, is not what other people think it is. And maybe they find that sort of endearing and they like you on a different level. It's not so much as like, oh, you look, you know, you're attractive. Maybe you are attractive, but, but I think they're looking beyond that. They're looking at it like... You know, I think we would make a great team. I think we should be a part of each other's life. So somebody's kind of deciding that. Um, so they might tell you something that makes you like raise an eyebrow or make you go, okay, this person's a psychopath. But I think they've thought about it. You know, maybe they've only known you for a day or two or they barely know you. But I feel like they have like warm, fuzzy feelings for you. And I feel like they're debating on whether or not to tell you. I think they are going to tell you. But I feel like it's like somebody's looking at you like a soulmate. And they're also looking at you like a potential husband or wife. Like a forever partner. And I feel like maybe they come across to you as like they don't even notice you. Maybe it looks like they're ignoring you. They don't know you exist. But there's definitely something there. I feel like sometimes maybe you and this person catch eyes. Maybe... You know, they look down when, when you're looking at them or, you know, they're bashful. There's, there's something that's just not, they're not able to just say it out, but I feel like they're going to. For some of you, this person's going to say it through messages. For some of you, this person is going to say it to your face. For some of you, they're going to tell somebody and then that somebody's going to tell you. But somebody's definitely going to be sharing their feelings. I'm not so much thinking that this is an ex energy or a person from the past energy. I feel like this is more of like a current person right now energy. I also feel like um, with the volcano in the, in the background, it's kind of like for some of you, it's something that's been welling up. For some of you, you might go like on a blind date and meet this person and this person, you know, is telling you, oh, you know, there's just something magnificent about you. But maybe for some of you, this person doesn't really know you personal, like your personal life. Maybe they've said hi and bye and they know your name, but like they don't know your life. And I feel like they they have feelings for you. They want to say something, but that maybe they don't want to look unprofessional or they don't want to look overbearing or weird. So they want to know more about you. They want to talk to you, but they just, it, but it's going to come out. Some of you may actually end up moving 
and then after you move this person comes into contact with you and then for others of you maybe you end up working a different shift or you end up working a different job and maybe an old co-worker contacts you and tells you all of this but either way and then for some of you you stay at the same job you stay at the same place you're living and somebody tells you this maybe it's somebody who works on the property where you live but somebody's going to tell you i feel like for some of you um you might be creeped the heck out you might be like oh my gosh what is this person talking about I'm a married person or I don't even know their name they can't be in love with me or this person's really staring at me a lot they look at me like they're in love with me um and you might be like but I don't really know them like that like what's their problem so some of you yes you're going to be freaked out others of you you're going to be like "Ooh, I like a little a little weirdo stuff <laughs> All right, guys, jamiezebra23.com. If you'd like a personal reading, um, you can check out my website, jamiezebra23. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself uh, love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage. I have um, a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It is not the reading special. It's something different. It's something that will be on the website every day from now on. Um, this, uh, the reading special, or it's... Not the reading special. The 10-minute tarot card reading for $25 is done in 24 to 48 hours. Um, also, um, the, uh, on the website, the same-day readings are done the same day. It says it on the website and in the description box on the website, and I also verbally state it. Um, if a reading uh, says it's done in 24 to 48 hours, it is not a reading, or it's not a same-day reading, it is a reading that is done in 24 to 48 hours. The reading special is done in one to five days, depending on how many orders come in. Um, that's also stated on the website and in writing, and I verbally state it. But yeah, just uh, just a little bit of extra notice because I've been having a lot of people recently that think that the um, reading special is a same day reading, and they think that the 10 minute tarot card reading is a same day reading for some reason. I don't know why they would, but yeah. All right, just to clear it up, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.